Hello, my name is Viv Evans, I'm Professor of Linguistics. I'd like to tell you a little bit about emojis, the uh, colourful um, glyphs that are used embedded in uh, digital keyboards, the, the smileys, the winks and so on. Um, and I conducted recent research that found that 80% of us in the UK are now regularly using these colourful symbols when we communicate. A question I often get asked is, is it really the case that emojis are making us dumber? Are they a backward step taking us back to the dark ages of illiteracy? And the answer is a resounding no. Why is that? Well, the research that I've been doing has found that 72% of 18 to 25 year olds actually find it easier to express their emotions if they're using emoji. In addition to that finding, a further finding from my research is that nearly half of the 18 to 25 year old age group in the UK also feel that emoji in digital communication enables them to express themselves more effectively, to in fact to become better communicators. So why is this? It turns out that what emoji is doing is fulfilling a function apparent in the spoken channel that's not there already in the digital channel. So if you think about it, when we speak, what we do, what I'm doing now is gesturing and I'm using intonation. And we use intonation actually to convey meaning that's not carried by the words themselves. So I could say with passion, I love you, and with falling pitch intonation, with a falling pitch contour, this is a declaration presumably of undying love. But if I say with a rising pitch contour, I love you, that can be a derisive counterblast. So what this shows is that the intonation, the pitch contour, whether it's rising or falling, actually changes the meaning of words. So gesture and intonation we know in the spoken channel, when we're speaking face to face uh, with one another, make us more effective communicators. Now what we found is, my research shows that in the digital channel, where nuancing is often stripped away, emojis add this further information. They fill in the missing tone, if you like, in terms of uh, the communicative message. And this is the reason why, especially in the 18 to 25 year old age group, so the younger people are often in the vanguard in terms of uh, digital communication, this is why it enables younger people to more effectively express themselves. And this is pretty amazing, I think.